Hello mga kawawmat, sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin how to write the equation of a circle in general form. Okay, the general equation of a circle is x squared, so ito yung pinaka-formula na gagamitin nating class. x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. Okay, ulitin ko lang. So, ang formula ng pagkuha ng general equation ng circle natin is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So, alam nyo class, from the standard form, so simula sa formula ng standard form, ay pwede natin kunin yung formula ng general equation natin. So, paano? Like for example, so, if we're gonna expand, no, ito, kung kunin natin yung squared ng x minus h natin, so, pwede natin yung expand, no, so, x minus h times x minus h, or pwede gamitin ng FOIL method, no? So, kung sanay na, so, that will become x times x, so, x squared, yung yung ginagawa natin. Tapos, multiply natin yung first and second term, uh, twice the product of first and second term. No? Yun yung middle term natin. So again, kapag nag-squared tayo ng binomial, una muna, squared natin yung first term. So that is x squared. And then, uh, twice the product of uh, first term and second term. So that is 2 times, uh, that is negative 2 hx. Kasi x times negative h times 2 that is negative 2hx. And then, yung pang last, i-squared natin yung last term natin. So, negative h times negative h, that is positive h squared. So, ganun din kay y minus k. So, squared yung first term. So, y times y, kaya naging y squared. And then, twice the product of first and second term. Or, that is negat uh, 2 times y times negative k, kaya naging negative 2ky. And then, last term, squared yung last term, so negative k times negative k, that is positive k squared is equal to r squared. And then, uh, arrange lang natin, no? x squared minus 2hx plus h squared plus y squared minus 2ky plus k squared is equal to r squared. So, arrange lang natin, so x squared plus y squared. Minus 2hx plus 2ky plus h squared plus k squared is equal to r squared. Now, so kapag aayusin natin class, okay, so nandito na tayo ngayon, no? Nandito na tayo, x squared plus y squared minus 2hx plus minus 2ky. So, uh, na doble lang. So, nilipat na natin ngayon yung radius dito. Okay, so nilipat natin yung r squared natin dito sa left side kaya na meron na tayong negative r squared. So, what if kapag yung d natin is equal to negative 2h, tapos yung let, let e is equal to negative 2k, and f is equal to h squared plus k squared minus r squared. So, kapag sinabdigit natin, so, mula dito magiging x squared plus y squared plus dx na. So, pinalitan natin yung hx natin, no? Okay. Uh, yung negative 2h rather, no? Pinalitan natin yung negative 2h natin ng d na. And then, yung negative 2k natin, pinalitan natin ng letter e. Okay? So, negative 2 times negative 2, that's kaya naging positive na yan. And then, yung e natin, so, pinalitan natin ng Ah, uh, yung A natin, so yun nga sinabi ko kanina. Then yung F natin, pinalitan natin yung H squared plus K squared minus R squared with F. So, yan yun, no? Again, uh, kakabisaduhin nyo lang yung general equation ng circle natin. Okay, for example, write the general equation of a circle with center 4, negative 1, and a radius of 7 units. Okay, then... Let's determine the values of D, E, and F. Okay. Of course, una muna, identify natin yung value ng H natin. So, yung H natin is the X coordinate. 
So, sa ordered pair, kung sino yung nauna, that is the, yun yung x-coordinate, di ba? So, that is 4. And then, yung negative 1, siya naman yung y-coordinate or yung value ng k natin. And then, yung radius natin is 7. So, simula sa standard form, okay? From the standard form, so ito yung un unang gagawin natin class, ha? Okay, so gamit yung standard form, isa-substitute natin yung x-coordinate and y-coordinate natin sa kayong value ng radius natin. So, it will become x minus 4 squared plus y plus 1. Bakit naging positive na siya? Kasi negative yung value ng k natin dito. Okay, so y plus 1 squared is equal to 49. Kasi 7 squared or 7 times 7 kaya 49. So, simula dyan, okay, Mula dito, expand natin. So, x minus squared, x minus 4 squared. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, no una, uh, pag nag-square tayo ng binomial, square muna yan din yung first term. Okay, so x times x, x squared. And then, twice the product of the first and uh, last term. So, 2 times x times negative 4, the answer is negative 8x. And then, Square the last term, so negative 4 times negative 4, that is positive 16. Ganyan din dito. So, y times y, that is y squared. And then, y times uh, 2 times y times 1, that is positive 2y. And then, 1 times 1, that is 1, is equal to 49. And then, lipat natin si 49 dito. And then, pagsamahin natin, combine the similar terms. So, copy x squared. Copy y squared and copy negative 8x plus 2y and then add 16 and 1. So, that is 17 minus 49. And then 17 minus 49, that is negative 32, is equal to 0. So, therefore, ito na yung pinaka-general equation ng circle natin with center 4 and negative 1 and a radius of 7 units. Okay, so kung... Kukunin natin yung letter D, that is negative 8x. Yung E natin, positive 2y. And then yung letter F natin, yung value ng F natin is negative 32. Okay, another example. Yung center ng circle natin ay nasa negative 1, 2, and a radius of 2 square root of 5 units. So, then... I-determine din natin yung let, uh, values ng D, E, and F natin. Okay, so ganun ulit. Identify natin yung value ng H natin or yung X-coordinate natin. And then, yung Y-coordinate natin. And that is yung value ng K natin. So, yung negative 1, ito yung H natin. And then, yung 2, that is yung K natin. And then, yung radius natin is 2 square root of 5. Okay, from the standard form, is a substitute natin yung value ng h and k natin at saka yung radius natin. So, magiging x plus 1. So, bakit naging plus 1? Kasi negative, uh, negative 1 yung value ng h natin. So, negative times negative kaya naging positive. Plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 20. So, paano nangyari yung 2 square root of 5? naging 20. So, remember, okay, kapag in-squared natin yung 2 square root of 5, so, 2 squared, that is 4, and then matatanggal din natin yung radical natin, so, maiwan yung 5. So, yung 5, imumultiply natin sa squared ni 2, so, 4 times 5, kaya naging 20. So, mula dito, squared natin yung x plus 1, plus, squared natin yung y minus 2, equals 20. So, x plus 1 squared, so maging x times x, so that is x squared, twice the product of the first and last term, so 2 times x times 1, kaya naging positive 2x, squared the last term, so 1 times 1, that is 1. Dito naman, squared the first term, y times y, that is y squared, and then twice the product of uh, first term and the uh, last term So 2 times y times negative 2 Kaya naging negative 4y And square the last term So negative 2 times negative 2 That is positive 4 Equals 20 Okay After that, dipat natin si 20 Dito sa left side natin 
So, magiging x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 15 equals 0. So, yung value ng d natin is positive 2x and yung value ng e natin is negative 4y and yung value ng f natin is negative 15. Test yourself. Okay, so bibigyan ko kayo ng 5 questions to write the equation in general form. Okay, so bibigyan ko kayo ng 1 minute to answer or pwede naman uh, i-post nyo muna yung video sa kanyo i-play ulit para makita yung answer key. Okay, so ito yung sagot for uh, number 1. x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 8y minus 16 equals 0. Number 2 naman, x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 18y minus 47 equals 0. Number 3, x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 2y minus 44 equals 0. Number 4, x squared plus y squared minus 16x plus 14y minus 122. And for number 5, x squared plus y squared minus 10y minus 11 equals 0. Okay, if you get 5 out of 5, congratulations in advance. And then, pwede nyo i-share sa amin kung ano yung nakuha nyo yung score sa comment section ng video lesson na to. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.